I'm going to show you how you can make a web app that will work on your uh, phones using uh, code.org. So the first thing you do is to go onto code.org and at the bottom right you will be able to select the language you prefer. I'm going to select English now since some of you will be speaking English I assume. Um, and once you've done that you should go into students sections on code.org and scroll a bit down you will see that there is an app lab where you can click and uh, you should then click on make an app here you should uh, create an account if you if you don't have an uh, have one already and maybe the easiest is to sign in with your facebook account or a google account or something that you already have which will then be linked to code.org and uh, here you can see that i have a program created already uh, and uh, the way i created this was that on the left side you have two buttons where you can choose whether you want to see the code or the design and right now i'm uh, showing the code which you can see here in this workspace section uh, if i click on design you will see that i um, i get some other uh, possibilities in this workspace screen uh, and these fields are referring to what you see here on the left side the, what i see here on the left side is uh, your phone screen the way it will look on your screen and you see here that you can have several screens i have screen one two and three and you can make even more screens and on these screens you are, have the possibility to add buttons, labels, etc, images, lots of different choices and um, you should start out by doing something simple just to test if you're able to make an easy app work on your phone. So what I've done here is that I've created a quiz. So this is a label, uh, this is another label and this is a text input box and here is a label stating that I should enter kilograms and then this is a button and if you see the other screens I've, I've uh, made one which just says correct and then I've made one which says uh, well this was wrong and you should try again so this is a try again button so let's see how this relates to our code in our code section I've started with um, something which is called an user interface control which is marks as yellow. So here are all the possibilities we have in controlling the user interface. And this is the user interface. What you see on your phone is the user interface. So we have something which is called on event, which means that if someone presses button one, and we will see what is button one afterwards, uh, someone clicks button one, then everything that is inside the green section here should be done. So let's have a look on, um, oops, I clicked some, somewhere wrong. Uh, let's see here on screen, sorry, I have to go to the design and screen one. And if I select the button, the submit button down here, you see that the ID identification of this button is button one. So when I write this code on event button one, click, it means that someone has pressed the submit button and what we should do then is that we should grab the text from the text input field which you will see here in the design section is named text input one and then it should take the content of that field and and uh, put it in a variable a variable is like somewhere you can store the result so like like in mathematics in school you will have you could have used x for example x equals this but since i know that this is the answer i call it answer instead of x because it's much easier to understand when you read the code so i put the answer into this variable and then i compare it to 371 which is the correct answer and if answer equals 371 and you see here that since you have to use two equal signs to compare these two if I don't compare them, I only use one, then this value will be put inside here. So use two when you compare and 
one when you want um, this value to go inside this variable. So if they're equal, you should go to screen two. And if they're not equal, you should go to screen three. And then you have this console log, which is uh, just put in by code.org automatically. This will, be, this will appear down here in the debug console. And then we have more events. If someone has clicked the button two, which is the button on the screen three. So, so he wants to try again, the user wants to try again. Then you should show the screen one, which will take you back to the original screen one. And you're able to enter a new uh, answer and see if you can get this correct this time. Right, and when you have something which you would like to test, you should just press run. And then what you do here is actually like simulating your phone. So I enter a correct answer, press submit. That was working fine. And I, I enter a, a new uh, answer, running it again. That was wrong and I'm able to enter as many wrong answers as I would like. So this seems to work very fine and therefore I would like to to publish my app on the internet so my friends can try it. And let's see if we can find where we do that. Uh, this is always the challenge in using uh, programs and websites like this. Where is the publish button? Let's see, you just have to look. Share, I guess, should be it. And uh, there you get a link to uh, your uh, project and you can share it on Facebook, Twitter. And what will happen if I click here? I'm not sure actually, you can try. Can I, okay, you can send it to a US phone number. Um, but you can also just copy the link and send it by email or send it to your teacher or whatever you like. And when then someone takes this, uh, internet address into uh, his or her web browser they will get a simulation of your uh, phone uh, app <laughs> if you, they are on a PC but if you open it on a phone it will just be the white screen here that appears inside your phone okay so um, once you've made uh, an app that seems to work, you can play around with this and see what other possibilities there are. Uh, good luck.